Hey, what's up everybody? Eric with Secondary Machine. Today I'm out puttering in the shop. I just got my uh, eye gauging GRO stuff from the Grizzly up in Bellingham a couple of days ago. So I'm getting ready to install all of this stuff on the, uh, the little Grizzly mill. It's an 0781. One thing I've noticed uh, when I go to buy these, I've, I've set up several machines with these. If you haven't set up a machine with these, it's a lot of fun, actually. It's a really fun little project. So um, if you haven't done that, I would suggest doing it, especially if you've got like a mini mill or even a large knee mill. I've got these same scales on my large knee mill out there, uh, too. And so I've done, I think, three different uh, projects with these in the past. I think this might be the fourth. But anyway, what I've noticed is when I buy these from Grizzly, uh, I don't care anything about this part of it. I'm really only interested in the scale and the reader itself because I've got a Touch DRO that I got from Yuri in Portland. And uh, so I'm gonna run this um, through this little board and it's gonna go to, if you're not familiar with this, this will give me a digital readout on a small tablet, and it gives you a bunch of extra functionality that's really nice, like you can do complex hole patterns and some different stuff that you can't get with these. So anyway, my point is, when I buy these from Grizzly, they've got a model that's cheaper, and so it's the same scale and the same reader, but this head is different, and every time I order the cheap ones, I end up with the expensive ones at the price of the cheap ones. And this time was even better because not only did I get them at the cheaper price, it's also uh, for Black Friday. They did all this week 10% off on everything at the Grizzly. So I just got a smoking buy on all three scales. What did I end up getting here? Um, what size is this? I think, I think the small one is an eight, which I'm gonna do across this way. And then I think I got two 12s, um, so up and down, and then um, my uh, X. And so I'm getting ready to install all of this stuff. That's kind of a pro tip that if you want to buy this stuff, just order the less expensive ones. And from what I've seen, I think three times now, they always just end up giving me the other ones. But uh, like I said, I'm not going to really probably use this part. I'll probably just set it up with this, which I think is better. Anyhow, um, got that going on. Another thing that's going on out here, another little tip I wanted to show you guys is I've got like this love-hate relationship with Allen Head Hardware. Like, is it metric? Is it standard? <laughs> is this little key going to fit? So anyway, I just picked myself up at uh, the Harbor Freight. The complete set, so I've got the metric and the standard both, all of it here. But what I like to do, and I like to do this with um, drill bit sets also. I'll mark all of this with some white paint or whatever color. Like sometimes I'll get like a set of um, twist drills and like maybe I'll use like fluorescent orange. I'll color all of them so I know which set it came from and where they go. Now this shop isn't going to have any other Allen head stuff out here except for this, hopefully. Maybe the, the, the random key here or there, but like, as you can see, I've got these same sets for the other shop, but I want to know which shop these belong to, and that if I see white on anything, I know it goes in this carrier as part of the set, and that way, when I need something, it's there and available to me. Works really well with twist bits too, so I know which kit it came out of. So usually I just kind of bit of white on there, a little bit of white on the rest of it, let that dry down, and I'll have a good idea of what's going on maybe <laughs> for once. So anyway, what else is going on out here? Um, getting organized. I'm starting to figure out. One thing with a shop is that everything's got to have a place. Everything's got to have a home. I've been going through and just kind of organizing some stuff. Here's another thing that uh, comes from the Harbor Freight. I like these trays for organizing stuff. I need to get more of these. Um, I also, because I uh, produce panniers in the big shop, I've always got a lot of extra 080-5052 sheet aluminum. And so, like, up above... I'll wave here. Let me see if I can move the camera up. 
Up above the lathe here, I'm gonna build a shelf here. I'll probably build another aluminum shelf over here. Um, just as a place for like, what I'm finding is I need more storage, I guess is the ultimate point. So like the one that's above the lathe, you know, will get like all of this stuff setting on it. Um, basically the shop is gonna be kind of divided into three different areas, I think. Like everything that is mill related will probably end up with its own little box and all the stuff that basically goes with that will be there. Everything for the lathe will be over here. And then like layout, measuring, all that type of stuff is probably gonna be over in this area over here. So that's the basic idea for things as it sits now. Uh, anything else new going on? Uh, nothing really that I can think of. Um, like I said, I'm just getting ready to jump into this project here. Um, I'm going to have to, uh, to make some stuff for this to get the scales to go on to it and stuff. But I'm looking forward to basically probably tearing this machine down, getting the scales onto it and getting it to where it's, uh, really accurate and I can start making some stuff. So anyway, Eric with Secondary Machine, I will talk to y'all later.